In the previous video, we learned how to measure distances, create two-dimensional topographic profiles, and we added contour lines to our map to help visualize the landscape in 3D. But what if we want to remotely explore our mapping area in 3D? For those of you who have experience using Esri's Arc Desktop, you are probably aware of the difference between Arc Map and Arc Scene. Arc Scene is a 3D visualization application that allows you to view your GIS data in three dimensions. ArcGIS Pro does not have two separate applications for mapping and 3D viewing. All of these capabilities are housed under one roof. In ArcGIS Pro, ArcScene has been replaced with Local Scene. In this video, you will learn how to create a local scene to visualize your datasets in 3D, and you will learn how to generate 3D contour lines. To begin, let's first navigate to the Insert tab. Here we select New Map, then click New Local Scene. This will open a tab in our main workspace view named Scene. Note how Scene also populates in the Catalog pane underneath our original map. The Contents pane looks slightly different in a local scene. Here we have 3D layers, 2D layers, and elevation surfaces. Like when we first started our project, note that Arc Pro has a built-in topographic map and hillshade, and in local scene it has a default 3D ground surface. These can be toggled or removed at any time if they become distracting. We will want to use our own digital elevation model as the ground surface, so first we must import it into the local scene. We can do this by clicking Add Data under the Map tab, Alternatively, you can right-click anything in your catalog pane and click Add Dataset to Scene. Right now, we can already see some structure on our DEM. It is currently under the 2D layer heading in the Contents pane. Instead of having a 2D digital elevation model draped over the built-in 3D ground surface, we can move our DEM down into the ground elevation surface. For now, I will turn off the World Elevation 3D and we will focus specifically on the data that we were provided. To add and view one of our hillshades in 3D, right-click any hillshade in your catalog pane and click Add to Current Map. As another reminder, I highly recommend using a mouse that has a scroll wheel when working in Arc Pro. The first time navigating around a local scene may take some getting used to. To pan, click and hold the left mouse button and drag around the screen. To zoom in or out, spin the scroll wheel up or down on your mouse. To change your view angle, click down on the scroll wheel and then drag the mouse to the desired position. Next, let's add our georeference Google Earth satellite image. Since we did a diligent job with the georeferencing earlier, the satellite image is seamlessly draped over the 3D geologic features. Aside from actually visiting the field site, this is the next closest way to investigate your mapping area in 3D. Local scenes provide you with a realistic virtual tour of your mapping area. Next, let's experiment with vertically exaggerating our ground surface to highlight some of the 3D structures in our mapping area. To do this, navigate to the Contents pane. Here we see that the vertical exaggeration is 1.00, which means that there is currently no vertical exaggeration. Let's first change it to 1.50. By increasing vertical exaggeration, the topography is accentuated. If we toggle the satellite imagery off and view the hillshade, we see that the SP mountain is the most prominent geologic feature in our mapping area. It stands taller than the other volcanoes. As an extreme test, let's raise the vertical exaggeration to 3. With such exaggeration, we learn that the volcanic vents, including SP Mountain, are typically conical in shape and comprise the high points in the landscape. We see that the SP Mountain lava flow appears blocky and the edges of the flow are steep. 
we see that the surface that the SP lava flowed over is generally smooth. Also, the Kaibab limestone also has a relatively smooth top, and we can see that it is incised by a few drainages. Also, the SP graben forms a trench-like depression, and we see that the SP lava flow spills over into the graben at two locations. Typically, geologists try to avoid vertical exaggeration in cross-sections or 3D views because it is not the true scale of the landscape. However, being able to change the exaggeration in local scene can be extremely helpful for drawing your eye to certain geologic structures or features that may be hard to discern from 2D contour lines. Sometimes vertical exaggeration can be necessary if, for example, you are mapping in an area with heavily muted or subtle topography, um, which isn't the case here. In the last video, I showed you how to make and label 2D contour lines. Now we will do the same in our local scene, except these contour lines will be 3D. Like before, navigate to the catalog pane, right click SP contour 10 meter and add to current map. In the contents pane, they will show up under 2D layers. Click and drag the contours to 3D layers. Be aware that working in a local scene and with 3D layers is more demanding on your computer's processor and graphics card, and the scene may take a long time to render. For more information on software and hardware requirements using Arc Pro, visit the help pages on esri.com. Once the contours are drawn, right-click SP Contour and click Label. Like before, the default label expression is incorrect. We must open up the labeling properties and change the expression to the contour field and hit Apply. There you have it, three-dimensional labeled contour lines draped over a 3D hillshade of your mapping area. No need for an altimeter or a Jacob staff. These tutorial videos aim to demonstrate the capabilities of high-resolution topographic data coupled with powerful GIS software. These data and software tools are revolutionizing the ways we understand the Earth and the processes that shape it. I will leave you with a zoomed out view of the SP Mountain with numerous surrounding volcanic vents, as well as the prominent San Francisco Mountain on the horizon, which is a large eroded stratovolcano and Arizona's highest point at 3,800 meters or over 12,000 feet. In the next video, I will show you how to create a mapping feature dataset and associated mapping feature classes.